Hey guys, Mark here with Smasher Sports. And we know, just like us, you guys cannot wait to get outside and play ball. But today we're going to talk about a great way to spend your current downtime by breaking in a new glove. We know many of you feel like this may be a daunting task, but the truth is the steps I'm about to show you are the best way to break in your glove for your specific hand. We feel like using steamers, dunking it in water, putting it in the oven, having someone else do it, or other crazy alternative methods, although popular, are not recommended. So without further ado, I'm going to show you some simple steps that you can take to get your glove broken into your hand. Today I have with me a Viper fielding glove made of Japanese kip leather. These gloves are super high quality Japanese kip leather, which are known for being lightweight, comfortable, durable, and crazy good on performance. They do come a bit stiff, but as you can see from following these steps, I've got this glove pretty well broken in. The first thing you want to do when your glove arrives is identify how you close your glove and the specific break points that you'll want to break in. If you close your glove thumb to pinky, like I do, you'll have two break points, which are here and here. If you close your glove more thumb to middle finger or thumb to index finger, more of a fold over like this, you'll only have one break point, which is going to be down here. Once you've identified how you want your glove to close, you want to work on those portions of the glove. Like I said, I close my glove thumb to pinky, so I will show you that method, but it's not much different for the other way. It's actually a lesser step for the fold over. So you got the first break point here. You're going to fold that over. And a glove mat works really well for this. And you're just going to beat it on this side. And you're going to flip your glove over. Beat it on that side. Then you're going to find the other crease. Do that. Beat it, flip it over, beat it again. Now once you have your specific break points identified, and they're beginning to break in, you want to start to work on pocket depth. So for an infielder, they usually prefer a shallow pocket with a wider, more funnel style. Simply pull on the thumb and the pinky fingers, which creates that funnel and gives you a shallower pocket for ball transfers. For an outfielder, you want more length on your glove rather than width. So now pull on the heel of your glove, which is here, and the fingertips of your glove to stretch it for more length, plus that adds depth to the pocket. Just so you guys know, this method also work for catchers and first base mitts, they're all the same. So, at this point, you've worked in your break points, you started to create your pocket depth that you want, now you want to start to form the pocket on where you want to catch the ball. So, again, the glove mallet works great for this, just start working in that area on how you want to catch the ball. Once you're comfortable with how your glove is closing, how your pocket depth is starting to feel, you'll simply just want to put a ball in it and wrap it up. Use a shoestring, rubber bands, anything like that that's going to hold it closed tightly. And you're going to store it like that until you're breaking it in some more or you're ready to use it in a game. All these steps are repeatable. So just keep working on it, work with your glove as much as possible with your hand in it, and it's gonna be exactly the way you need it for a game in no time. If you're looking for a new glove, be sure to check out all of our fielding gloves at smashersports.com, where we have free shipping and a wide selection of gloves from Rawlings, Mikan, Worth, Easton, Viper, and Marucci. So check it out, smashersports.com. See you guys soon.